what's going on guys welcome back to another real nba video so in today's video i'm gonna be talking about the chicago bulls and jim boylan being fired finally i can finally say that and i'm proud that i'm saying that jim boylan has finally been fired but nonetheless i'm gonna be, i'm gonna be talking about why jim boylan being fired is huge extremely huge for the chicago bulls if jim boylan would have stayed as the head coach everything would have fell apart but now that Jim Boylan is gone, the Bulls actually have a lot of hope of becoming a potential playoff team. So as we all know, Jim Boylan was a terrible coach. Like everybody knows that. If you remember, Zach Levine, Lowry Markkinen, Wendell Carter, like pretty much the whole Bulls team except for Sadoransky because Sadoransky is weird. But it pretty much the whole Bulls team was fed up with Jim Boylan. If you remember, there were reports a couple months ago saying that multiple Bulls players complained about Jim Boylan. And you could even see it on court. There was many instances where Zach Levine looked frustrated after Jim Boylan called an unnecessary timeout. Like when there was only 30 seconds left in the game and the Bulls were obviously going to lose. Jim Boylan still calls timeouts. And then Zach Levine would have that freaking irritated face. And then there was also instances where Lowry Markkinen... You could tell he wasn't feeling it on the court. He had an irritated face. Even other players that didn't show that they were fed up, you could tell that they were fed up. There was a clip of Daniel Gafford streaming and then one of the comments said, you know, what do you think about Jim Boylan? And then all he said was that he he's all right. That just shows that Jim Boylan did not have the respect of most of his team. Like I said, Sadoransky's weird. So, I mean, he liked him, but most of the Bulls did not have the respect for Jim Boylan. Larry Markkinen came out and said if the, if the Bulls didn't make any huge changes that he would want to leave the team. And then after Larry said that, they fired Garpex and now Boylan is gone. This is extremely huge because like I said, if the Bulls would have kept Boylan, Larry Markkinen might have been a freaking requesting a trade soon so Levine probably would have requested a trade Lowry probably would have requested a trade Bulls fans would have been heated everybody would have just the Bulls would have continued to be trash so now that Jim Bolin is gone who's gonna be our new coach there's a lot of coaches out there that can potentially become the Bulls coach obviously you got Kenny Atkinson who's probably the most popular coach that Bulls want and then you got guys like Dave Yeager, who I personally think can be a good coach for the Bulls. When he was coaching the Grizzlies, he, he had a pretty good team there. When he was coaching the Kings, the Kings had a great year with Dave Yeager. And then you got Becky Hammond, who would become the first female coach if she did join the Bulls. She's been the assistant coach of uh, Greg Popovich for a really long time now. I'm pretty sure she coached the uh, Spurs summer league team you got other coaches like mark jackson and other people like that but in my opinion i already have a video that i released a couple months ago talking about why i think dave yeager becky hammond and kenny atkinson would be the top three coaches that i would select for the bulls if they were to get a new coach and now it's confirmed that they're going to get a new coach so I think those three coaches would be great for the Chicago Bulls. And the Bulls are a big market team, so you already know that some players, some free agents are going to be looking at Chicago. But with Jim Boylan and Garpex, a lot of those free agents didn't come to the Bulls. But now with those two, with Garpex and Jim Boylan gone, some free agents might start coming to the Bulls now. And the Bulls might be able to, you know, build up their team through the draft and through free agent signings once again. Speaking of draft, the draft, the 2020 draft is coming up, obviously. The draft lottery is in f six days when I'm recording this. And if the Bulls end up getting the first pick, they could get LaMelo. They could get, you know, Anthony Edwards, James Wiseman. If they end up getting the seventh pick, they could get someone like Denny Avdija, Anyeka, Anyeka Okongwu if he falls, and some other good players like that. Tyrese Halliburton, Killian Hayes, the Bulls are going to be adding some new pieces in this offseason and these new pieces will not have to deal with Garpex and Jim Bullen. And yeah, so with the new coach, there's going to be a new system and this system will be better than Jim Bullen's system because Jim Bullen's system was trash and hopefully they could turn it around next year with a new coach, with a new front office and i'm looking forward to the bulls upcoming season but that's all i really had to say in this video hopefully you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time